You're watching News 54. Kenyan BBC reporter in the US, Larry Maddow, has surprised many after battling his umbrella while reporting on television. Larry Maddow was reporting live from Minneapolis where the ongoing case of George Floyd is being heard one year later after the tragic incident. While reporting, Larry Maddow was embarrassed by bad weather where he was forced to use an umbrella because of windy rain. Taking the news to his Instagram page, the BBC reporter captioned, I battled an umbrella on live TV and won. This crappy brawly tried to embarrass me on international TV but I didn't come to play. Without much, check how it went down. More broadly on what's been happening today. Oh yeah, Eric Nelson who's the lead attorney for Derek Chauvin, that have you heard that it is awful but lawful, the use of force in some cases when you have a defendant, when you have a suspect who is being um, resisting arrest. And he said, when it is, uh, sometimes it is unlawful and it is just awful. So this argument that the, the defense has been trying to make throughout this case that use of force is unattractive but necessary, he seemed to disagree with that. He also was shown training logs that Derek Chauvin went through and they arrived at a number that Derek Chauvin had 866 hours of paid training and he should have been prepared for the destruction of a crowd yelling and screaming and filming him during the arrest of George Floyd. Sergeant George's Tiger, I should say, has been testifying and the summary of his testimony is that as an independent use of force expert, it was unnecessary and excessive what Derek Chauvin did during the event of, of George Floyd last May. He was asked by the cross-examination lawyer, Eric Nelson, who is the lead attorney for Derek Chauvin, that, have you heard that it is awful but lawful use of force in some cases when you have a defendant, when you have a suspect who is being um, resisting arrest. And he said, when it is uh, sometimes it's unlawful, it's just awful. So this argument that the prosecutor the defense is trying to make for this case that use of force is unattractive but necessary, he seems to disagree with that. He also was shown training logs that Derek Chauvin went through, and they are rather a number. That Derek Chauvin had 866 hours of paid training and he should have been prepared for the destruction of a crowd yelling and screaming and filming him during the arrest of George Floyd. This 